नाइन्थ एनुअल फार्मास्यूटिकल लीडरशिप समिट एंड फार्मा लीडर्स पावर ब्रांड अवार्ड्स 2016 का आयोजन होटल सहारा स्टार मुंबई में किया गया एक ऐसा इवेंट जिसमें देश के कोने कोने से लोगों ने पार्टिसिपेट किया और शामिल हुए जाने माने डॉक्टर्स फार्मास्यूटिकल कंपनीज ऑनलाइन मीडिया अवार्ड कंपनी के ओनर्स और साथ ही ढेर सारे लोग इवेंट का आगाज मिस्टर सत्य ब्रह्मा की मोटिवेशनल स्पीच से हुआ जिसमें उन्होंने हेल्थ और फार्मा के महत्व के विषय में बात की वन आई थॉट अबाउट द थीम ऑफ दिस नाइन्थ एनुअल फार्मास्यूटिकल लीडरशिप समिट आई थॉट व्हाट कुड बी द टॉपिक देन आई रियलाइज दैट द अल्टीमेट बेनिफिशियरी आर द पेशेंट्स दीज आर द पीपल हु आर द रियल बेनिफिशियरीज द फार्मा कंपनीज द डॉक्टर द फार्मासिस्ट डायग्नोस्टिक कंपनीज द मेडिसिन वट एवर यू डू अल्टीमेटली आर द रियल बेनिफिशियर आर द पेशेंट्स but who think about them yes we produce medicines india has the largest uh, manufacturing capabilities our manufacturing capabilities are much more stringent much more bigger than what us has what us fda is doing is completely wrong they don't even look at what is there actually and i can guarantee you and i can tell you that if you go to us and other european countries their manufacturing uh, uh, capabilities will not be that capable what india has ninth annual pharmaceutical leadership summit ki shuruaat एक पॉजिटिव टॉक शो के साथ हुई जिसमें मिस्टर सत्य ब्रह्मा और मिस्टर मयंक गांधी के बीच वन टू वन इंटरेक्शन किया गया और साथ ही रूरल एरियाज में हेल्थ केयर डेवलपमेंट के क्षेत्र में मिस्टर गांधी के कंट्रीब्यूशन की भी चर्चा की गई। सो व्हाट आर द ग्राउंड रिपोर्ट्स दैट यू सो ऑन दोज विलेजेस विच यूड लाइक टू हाईलाइट आई वॉन्टेड टू स्पीक ऑन दिस बिफोर आई वेंट टू दीज विजेस The only village I had seen in my life was in Lagan picture. I'd never seen, but I remembered what Gandhi used to say that India lives in its villages, and we used to say 7.8 percent growth, 8 percent growth, 7.3 percent growth. So I said, but India lives in its villages. What is the true situation in villages? So I decided to go and work in villages. We took up a cluster of 15 villages in Bead, Marathwada, and they were the poorest. in that entire area maybe some of the poorest in the country their income was 3500 rupees per month of a family of 5 to 6 they were in bad state but more importantly i think i need to say two things one is that they were like a multiple organ failure if you worked on health then education will pull you away if you work on education economy will pull you so actually there is a heart failure organ all organs are in bad state if you want to heal the person you have to work on all the organs at the same time the other thing which we found is because there were so many social workers going there inko aadat pad gayi thi bhikari ban gaye the haath aise hi hota tha you go there they are all looking at you as some bewukuf who has come from mumbai with some money will come and get something so somebody will go and do health camp somebody will go and do uh, medical donation somebody will go and do money donation and make something what an uh, nam foundation of nana patekar or amir khan so th- i did not want to get into that i did not want to make them beggars because if the self respect of the farmer is gone then the self respect of india is gone इस नाइन्थ एनुअल फार्मास्यूटिकल लीडरशिप समिट में एक पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन सेशन भी हुआ जिसमें देश के कई डॉक्टर्स ने अपना रिसर्च पेपर प्रेजेंट किया सो विद इन द मिनिस्ट्री देर हैव बिन नंबर ऑफ इनिशिएटिव टॉक फ्यू ऑफ देम टच अपॉन एक्चुअली वन ऑफ देम इज द स्वस्थ भारत ऐप वी ऑल नो दैट ऑलमोस्ट एवरी हाउस होल्ड एन एक्सेस टू मोबाइल फोन सो वेन इट कम्स टू इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट हेल्थी लाइफ स्टाइल और डिसीज और फैसिलिटीज people should be able to use a mobile phone and get the authentic information so this is one of the apps that people can use immunization has been a big challenge but if you see the record in the last year there has been a sudden jump uh this was an app which was launched which big brings reminders to the parents for the various immunizations for the vaccinations to children so one of the things we realize is that people need information on the symptoms the hospital the facilities they can visit the probable treatments 
and give feedback to people. So this was an app launched in India Fights Dengue and it has been a successful app in terms of how people have been downloading and using it. And if you really look at role of government and regulators, on an on a ad hoc basis, they come in and then manage it as a, a knee-jerk reaction to a situation. Role of technology and medicines, like Rajendra was talking about, what government is doing in terms of how to bring the technology. There's a great sense of understanding of what the technology can do, but still it is not integrated into totally integrated approach to healthcare. With cosmetic surgery having become so very popular in India and all over the world in the last couple of decades, and of course some well-known people who uh, I've had the pleasure of treating, almost everything covered after three surgeries of hair transplant, almost fully covered except a small patch of the back. And the beauty of the procedure is that after three sittings, if you look at the donor area, you'll be difficult to find a scar because it's done well by the technique of trichophytic closure. The scar is almost indiscernible. His wife even can't find a scar after three sittings of a hair transplant. So good is the result of good, of good surgical technique. Six percent of the people among the elderly are living alone. They do not have any kind of support. They do not have any kind of support. Today, if you see uh, in terms of elderly care, 50% of elderly care in India are dependent financially, socially, emotionally and also physically. Presentation ke baad, Satya Brahma ji ne sabhi doctors ko as a token of appreciation ek momento diya. इस प्रेजेंटेशन के बाद देश के कुछ बेहतरीन डॉक्टर्स के साथ एक पैनल डिस्कशन भी किया गया जिसका सब्जेक्ट था हेल्थ केयर इन इंडिया अ कमोडिटी और अ बेसिक नीड एज यू ऑल नो दैट हेल्थ केयर इज अ वेरी सेंसिटिव सब्जेक्ट एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ टुडे पैनल डिस्कशन इज इज हेल्थ केयर अ कमोडिटी और अ बेसिक नीड आई थिंक हेल्थ केयर इज इम्प्रूविंग एंड आई इट शुड further improve and i am thinking that all sectors are getting the support to do so but at what speed i think that and how much it is spread out i think that awareness has still to come from villages to cities and everything so i think first and foremost we have to define what is a basic healthcare need what are all those things come under that what are those which can come classified as commodity and then we have to form regulations and rules so at the same time i think it has to be a combination of the systems who pays is a very very integral and important part but at least for basic health care it has to be provided by the government whichever way that is needed i would think that uh, health care for everyone irrespective of where one lives is actually a need but a country of 1 billion people with the kind of resourcing that we have in india uh, do we have the infrastructure and the medical and non medical uh, skill set to provide that need we don't have we lack the infrastructure in rural areas the basic necessity to deliver any care to the remote areas of our country you require is a doctor critical part of that entire ecosystem that is doctor he is not willing to travel to those areas because he finds ki probably even if he gets the money he won't be able to enjoy the lifestyle which he wants to by residing in his uh, in city along with his old friends uh, do you think uh, that alternative medicine could play an important role in bringing qualitative change in the healthcare and do you also feel the commercialization uh, commercialization of the healthcare is going to affect that one and do you think the next phase is going to be ayurveda and people are going to look at very seriously uh, i think ayurveda can help humongously in the healthcare industry because ayurveda not just focuses on treatment but it has a huge focus on prevention and prevention is extremely important if not more important than treatment and that is my opinion so i would think that rather than work on curative aspects if a little bit of, of energy is put into ayurveda is put into preventive medicine and also natural healing of diseases is going to go a long way now rishi if i could ask you is india the next destination for the global to shop i don't believe uh, india is, is the next global destination because the kind of support innovations need is not present currently in india so just uh, the 
things we did by going into rural India was considered innovation, but that's not just innovations. The problem with entire healthcare industry, which I foresee, is uh, as doctors usually exert tremendous control over this industry, and we doctors are trained to be more to be highly effective, but efficiency is something which we are not taught, and it is taught in business schools. So unless and until efficiency is taught, uh, is taught to doctors and they think like business people, if you see the art of craftsmanship, yes, India can equal to them. It is surgical. Now, a hair transplant, you don't have to go to America. You can get it done here as well and equally good. Now, where the craftsmanship is concerned, India can be considered a destination at a cheaper price. When you're looking at tourism per se, or you're looking at uh, patients coming from abroad for treatment, you cannot look at just from the clinical aspect. You need to look at the, uh, understand the need of the patient per se in totality. And it looks, and you need to look at the infrastructure point of view right from his arrival to his whole experience of reaching the hospital, right from internet connect connectivity to the roads, to the, uh, to the service levels, to what kind of nursing, etc. you will provide. Panel discussion ke baad, sabhi participant doctors ko sammanit kiya gaya. इवेंट का मुख्य अट्रैक्शन था फार्मा लीडर्स बिजनेस लीडरशिप अवार्ड्स 2016। इस अवार्ड शो के चीफ गेस्ट पद्मश्री डॉक्टर मुकेश बत्रा थे, जिन्होंने सभी अवार्ड विनर्स को सम्मानित किया। I am humbled. It's an honour. I would preserve it for the rest of my life, and I'm happy to receive it. Receiving the award at home in India makes you feel much more special. Thank you very much. This is 40 years of work, but it was quite surprising that I got the award for me. Anyway, it's uh, but anyway, jitna bhi late hoye, mila to sahi. My grandfather has also got this award many, many years back and other family members of my family have also got it, so it's very dear to me. Recognize some very, very interesting people and things, people which actually awards that I haven't seen before. So it was really an interesting forum to visit and be a part of. I want to see what I have got to do is to move forward and to move forward and to move forward and to move forward.
मुझे ये ज़्यादा प्रिय इसलिए है क्योंकि ये मेरे मेरे फादर के हाथों मिला है जिन्होंने कंपनी फॉर्म की है इस्टेब्लिश की है और जो मेरे रियल लाइफ हीरो हैं फार्मा लीडर्स बिजनेस लीडरशिप अवार्ड्स 2016 में हेल्थ केयर की दुनिया में बहुमूल्य योगदान देने वाले कई डॉक्टर्स मेडिकल एक्सपर्ट्स और फार्मा लीडर्स को अवार्ड दिया गया इस सेरेमनी में एशिया के नंबर वन हेल्थ केयर चैनल केयर वर्ल्ड टीवी को भी हेल्थ केयर में अपने सराहनीय योगदान के लिए सम्मानित किया गया अवार्ड सेरेमनी के अंत में डॉक्टर बत्रा ने अवार्ड विनर्स की सराहना की आई आल्सो कंग्रेचुलेट यू सत्या फॉर द थीम ऑफ पेशेंट फर्स्ट एज अ डॉक्टर बिन प्रैक्टिसिंग मोर देन 40 इयर्स वी आर हियर बिकॉज ऑफ आर पेशेंट्स आई एम वेरी हम्बल्ड टू हैव शेयर दिस स्टेज विद सो मेनी ग्रेट्स ऑफ द फार्मा इंडस्ट्री थैंक यू सत्या फॉर हैविंग गिवन मी द अपॉर्चुनिटी थैंक यू इस इवेंट में दूर दूर से आए लोगों का उत्साह देखते ही बनता था Uh, this is a great uh, platform for people, especially the pharma leaders, to connect. It's very well organized. A lot of doctors and um, uh, people from the industry are here, like all the recognized people, which is it's an honor to be here. यहाँ पर एक विचारधारा सबकी अलग अलग विचारधारा है जो एक प्लेटफॉर्म दिया गया है लोगों को यहाँ पर आके अपना अपना व्यू रखें. हम जो हेल्थ केयर में कर रहे हैं रूरल एरिया में उसको इंकारेजमेंट में देना. और और कंपनीज को अपने बारे में बताना ऐसे एक स्टेज पर ये भी बहुत अच्छा रहा उनके लिए हम हम लोगों के लिए जो एंड क्लाइंट है वो फार्मा कंपनी है और जहाँ पे बहुत सारी फार्मा कंपनीज आ रही हैं तो डेफिनेटली इट इज़ रियली गुड प्लेटफॉर्म टू कैच पीपल वेरी वेरी लाइव इवेंट दिस समाइम दिस एक्ट एज ए कैटलिस्ट दिस दिस इवेंट एक्ट एज ए कैटलिस्ट फॉर पीपल टू वर्क एन ऑल दिस रिकग्नेशन इज गिवन टू द पीपल हु आर डिजर्विंग इट इट वॉज रियली एनलाइटनिंग एंड रियली एनरिचिंग टू अटेंड दिस समिट जस्ट नाउ इस इवेंट में हेल्थ केयर इंडस्ट्री से जुड़े महत्वपूर्ण विषयों की ओर ध्यान आकर्षित किया गया तो साथ ही फ्यूचर में डेवलपमेंट की संभावनाओं पर भी विचार किया गया द फ्यूचर प्लान फॉर दिस इवेंट इज गोइंग टू बी दैट वी वॉन्ट टू रीच आउट टू ईच नू कैन कर्नर ऑफ द कंट्री वी वॉन्ट टू गिव द मैसेज दैट वॉट एवर द स्पीकर टोल्ड एस टूडे दैट दिस शुड नो दैट दीज आर दिंग्स विच इंडिया शुड रिमेम्बर पॉलिसी मेकर शुड रिमेम्बर मिनिस्टर शुड रिमेम्बर एंड दे शुड एक्चुअली इम्प्लीमेंट दिस इन टू प्रैक्टिस इवेंट के समापन के साथ डॉक्टर्स मेडिकल एक्सपर्ट्स और फार्मा कंपनीज के प्रतिनिधियों के चेहरों पर नजर आया एक सुकून और खुशी लक्ष्य की ओर बढ़ चुका था एक और कदम